Um, I feel like a fucking ostrich. Hello there, Internet. So today we are back with another Q and Ashley. I forgot that I always call it that and it's always so uncomforting when I say it out loud because it just sounds so, um, how you say, stupid. I put um, questions up on my Instagram story, but um, my lovely Insta followers never f answer those. So I just rely on friends asking me random questions because nobody pulls through on Instagram ever. So if you're one of those people that watches the story and doesn't ask, you, you're a All right, first question. Taylor says, are you tired of New York yet? Yes and no. I feel super lonely living in New York City, even though we're surrounded by hundreds and thousands of people every day. I'm not, I am, maybe a little, yeah. Sarah says, celebrity crush, girl and guy. Okay, to be completely honest, Sophie Turner kind of has my heart a little bit. I have like a little bit of a crush on her. You know, Chris Evans has always just been... <laughs> Yeah, I've received so much advice and I have the shittiest memory ever. Um, but I wanna say that the best advice I received is probably to not give a shit. Um, and that applies everywhere. If you're caring too much about what other people are thinking of you and how other people are perceiving you, that's all you're gonna get caught up in. You're not gonna be actually like living. Favorite TikTok video. Excuse me? Were you just about to put that water oh, there? Oh, I know. No, I saw no. you. These are my plants. I water I them didn't every day. Know that. Do you get up at six and do it? No. I didn't. I. That's what I. My that's why apologies. I'm calling the police. Very Don't. simple. Please, man. Very simple. No. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you? I mean, I really wanted to live in New York City, and I'm doing it. So, actually, I always wanted to live in Venice. What's your skincare routine? I just take medicine every day. I also have been using my Gua Sha lately, but I don't think that's doing anything for my actual skin care. I think that it's more so just like helping me for the future, keep my skin tight or some shit. I just wash my face every morning. I use this like Neutrogena shit every morning and sometimes I use it twice a day and I feel like when I do use it twice a day, it's like better for my skin. What's your top easy and healthy snack? Well, so once a week lately, I have been eating an entire box of Oreos, but that is not healthy. Um, it is easy, just hummus and raw veggies, um, uh, st like peppers, the mini bell peppers, because you can stuff the hummus in them, that's even better. Or you can put like a cheese or a meat in them and dunk them in the hummus. Oh, that's the best fucking snack ever. Celery and hummus also works, baby carrots, um, green beans, like those raw green beans. I realized that I talk so in depth about something when someone asks me a general question, and I do this in therapy too. My therapist asks me one question and I start talking for... 10 minutes about something else and then I go what was your question again okay and then I answer it in one sentence favorite type of project to audition for comedy drama tv indie my favorite is probably like more indie projects but I also really love just standard tv comedy favorite pizza topping it's definitely not pineapple if you keep pineapple on your fucking pizzas st get the fuck out of here unsubscribe leave my channel block me on instagram i don't give a shit i don't want anything to do with you broccoli on pizza don't hate me i know i just bashed pineapple because rightfully so but broccoli on pizza is actually really fire realistically my favorite pizza in general is a white pizza and i don't normally have a topping on that other than like garlic but my most common is pepperoni just because it's what everybody has, you know? Why did you become a YouTuber? I just started making videos when I was like eight, but I just loved making videos, coming up with these bizarre skits and just like filming them and then slapping them on YouTube for a non-existent audience just because you're proud of what you made. What animal best represents your personality? Um, I feel like a fucking ostrich just because they are a um, hundred miles a minute, fucking the weirdest, um, most, I feel like uncomfortable animal to look at. What's your worst pet peeve? I have too many of these. Okay, maybe it just means I have anger issues. Why the f does this keep coming off? Who is your role model is the last and final question of this video, which I think is a nice one to kind of end it on. My oldest sister is probably my role model. This bitch just, it's not that she has it together because I feel like none of us ever really do or will. She does a good job at making it seem like she's got her shit together, but she also just does a really good job of like minding her own business, getting her bag for herself and her kids, making something of herself, being a badass psychologist, successful, independent woman. I don't really have like a celebrity role model or someone like that that I look up to just because I've just never really been attracted to the idea of like idolizing someone in like the entertainment industry. I just feel like it can be really toxic if you like idolize this person and, and that you don't even know. Love you and thanks for watching. Aww. And yeah. Next time, f 
answer my Instagram stories, okay? Because this was embarrassing.